San Angelo, Texas. We're here in central west Texas, and uh, we've, we've got about 40 parks. It really depends on how you count those parks, because they're in, some are in smaller sections, and uh, some are larger parks, unconnected. But basically, we have about 40 parks. That's parks in town and also around Lake Nasworthy. And it doesn't include Twin Buttes, which is property that we don't own, but we manage for the Bureau of Reclamation. In those parks, we've got a variety of things. It depends on what park you're looking at. It could have a playground, a picnic shelter. Uh, it could have some sports fields, practice fields, or play, uh, competition fields. Uh, could have uh, some water features. It could have some gardens. So it also could have some trails. But, so there's a broad mix of different elements and facilities we have in our parks. But what is what is the purpose of parks? I, I get asked that from time to time, and it always kind of surprises me that question. Because for me, if this is my profession, I, I'm fully committed to the development and maintenance of parks because I know what they do for a city, for a community. Basically, they enhance the quality of life for individuals and for the community. Because of the history of Civic League Park, since it goes back so far, uh, we actually got. Uh, that park designated as a Lone Star Legacy Park just recently, just a, just a couple of months ago. That designation is, is to parks that are uh, at least 50 years old, are very important to the, the, the community locally, or could even have a significant uh, influence outside of the city, um, and are parks where, where there's different activities that occur and actually maybe even events. So Civic League Park was a, just an easy fit for that uh, recognition because we have the Lily Fest there. It is the location for the International Water Lily Collection, which uh, has the Texas Dawn, which is the official state water lily. Uh, it's a location where there's other gardens. It's, it's a park that dates back to 1903 and just an important place uh, for our community and for internationally because of the water lily co collection. Parks provide many benefits. One is health. It's a place to, uh, to, to physically be active which improves your body and also improves your, your mental uh, stability. It keeps you, uh, keeps you fit and keeps you uh, uh, mentally healthy. Uh, parks also build and strengthen communities. Uh, one interesting example of this is that we just finished the renovation of Meadow Creek Park. And when we dedicated or rededicated that park, somebody who lived in the, the neighborhood came up to me and said, I, this is for the first time, I live next door to somebody, I've never met them. For the first time after seven years, I meet them here at the park and we've become friends, which is an excellent example of how parks can, can reconnect people, people who even may live right next door to each other. Parks are also excellent locations for community events, uh, places for people of all different backgrounds to come together, enjoy, and have a good time, even for sporting activities. Uh, one, a great way for people to bond together is to participate in sporting ev events, um, you know, working as a team and competing against other teams. Parks are an excellent place to reduce stress and promote relaxation. Parks also have economic benefits, and this is a two-pronged approach. One is based on the proximity principle. If properties, residential and commercial properties, based on their location to a well-developed and well-maintained park, actually have elevated um, pr property values, which in turn benefits the city directly with those property taxes. Parks also are a great place to uh, enhance tourism. They bring in uh, sporting tournaments. They bring in tourists to visit places such as Fort Concho. Uh, they also, especially like in a city like ours along the river, are a great place, especially for folks who live in large metropolitan areas who want to escape to a more uh, smaller place that's attractive and uh, has a little bit uh, slower pace of life and kind of just escape and re-experience something different. Lastly, uh, it, parks are a great place for people to be, be creative, whether that's in the arts or just expressing themselves in, in their own way. The creativity is very important for us as a civilization and as a community to be able to adapt to the, to the future. San Angel's got about 40 parks, and those parks offer many different things. We have parks out at the lakes that are right next to the lakes. Uh, we have parks in town with trails and playgrounds and pavilions. So we really encourage the public to come out and enjoy their parks. They help the, you know, the citizens help fund these parks and help maintain these parks. So we want to make sure that folks get a chance to use those parks. Folks can rent uh, pavilions like this uh, from the Parks and Recreation Department office. Um, they can 
that can come enjoy the playgrounds and just the, the beautiful weather that we're having right now.